Ts dot A of X. We can think of this as a classical electromagnetic field. And um, now this is the thing we've been analyzing all afternoon. This is then minus I Q over 2 pi Q integral E bar P prime S prime gamma vector U of P and S dot A of X D Q X and of course pulling this back to time zero or spatial space time zero gives us an E to the I P minus P prime dot x, and we can imagine that everything here is time independent, so this is really a spatial um, quantity here. So let's see, what did I do next? Okay, we want this dot product, and what is our gamma? Well, our gamma here is p plus p prime and then p minus p prime times that. Well, p plus p prime, if we put a p here, suppose we have integral p dot a e to the i p minus p prime x d cubed x. Of course, this thing is the same thing as um, uh, a dot grad e to the i p minus p prime x d cubed x except for a minus i, I guess. And so this is now integrating by parts. We have e to the i p minus p prime dot x um, i uh, divergence of a d cubed x, and we're in the Coulomb gauge, so that's zero. So, so, in other words, we don't have to worry about this term because of the p and the p prime. Although it is p plus p prime and obvious at this point. I'm a little puzzled as to why that's going away. Um, Well, it's got to be the Coulomb gauge condition, but I somehow I'm I'm not quite. By the way, the, in the homework problem, I posted the solutions, but uh, the trick was integrate by parts. If you integrate by parts before doing anything, you can get an expression that's um, q squared a of u nu minus q nu q nu. And uh, that's the trick. OK, so um, what we do now is we just keep this term. And so this thing is. This, what we get then is minus IQ f of 0 over m 2 pi cubed integral d cubed x e to the i p minus p prime dot x a of x dot p minus p prime cross sigma over 2 s prime s. Now we do this razzmatazz with the gradient. Um, the, certainly, p minus p prime is the gradient on this, apart from an i. Integrating by parts, we have um, the gradient acting on um, uh, 
A, but the gradient acts in a funny way through this. Um, it's A dot P minus P front cross sigma, and because of the the structure there of the P minus of, of the cross product, this turns out to be um, minus Q f of zero over m two pi cubed integral t cubed x e to the i p minus p prime dot x sigma over two s prime s dot b of x so curl or the curl when you integrate by parts and take into account the epsilon i j k you get curl of a rather than divergence of a that gives you b the integral then gives you a delta function, and altogether we have here minus q f of zero over m sigma over two dot b delta q p prime minus p. And um, this thing on the other hand, that is to say this energy is by definition minus the magnetic moment over the spin j times jj s prime s dot b. Well, jj is just sigma over 2. And so what we get is the uh, relation that mu is equal to q f of 0 over 2m. Okay. Now, we saw that f of 0 plus g of 0 was 1. And so what we, so in fact, what, what, what turns out to be the case is that this is equal to q over 2m minus q over 2m g of 0. So this is the correction that we'll do next time to get uh, Schwinger's correction. This tells you that uh, the gyro magnetic ratio is 2 or however you want. Anyway, it gives you the correct magnetic moment. So that's, that's the end of that story. And uh, I'll post these notes on the website sometime tonight. So are there any questions? Is it only dependent on f of zero because we're are, are we in still this low momentum limit? Actually, let me see the book. I'm just curious. Uh, hmm. Hmm. How is it? I just was looking at the looking at it today for the first time the section on renormalization relations we get. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So I'm sorry. What was your question? Uh, was this all done still in the low momentum limit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so is it only depending on f of zero because of that? Yes. Okay. So in general, it would be yeah. f of k. f of k, okay. But we're at low momentum transfer. So the electrons moving slowly, big magnetic field. And in fact, it's almost, it's, it's, you can even take it to be homogeneous. Right? So almost homogeneous. Or you even take it to be what we're really trying to focus on is just the value of the All right, so I guess we can stop with that.